All right, guys, welcome back to another video with KDM Station. Um, today, we're actually in Las Vegas and we're getting prepared to go to the Gearhead Society show. And uh, the first thing that we're actually gonna do before we get ready to go to that show is we actually got a package from Velocitech. And uh, inside of here is gonna be the first lit kit that they had made. So I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys had seen the regular snorkel that's being made. Um, it comes with a, a scoop that can be painted any color and then you can have like an inlet any color. So it can look pretty cool, but this is actually gonna be a LED, uh, LED lit kit. So you're able to change the way the colors look. You're able to strobe uh, different effects. It's really cool you guys will see once we get this uh, open in box but uh, we're really excited to work with Velocitech on this and uh, can't wait to get it installed on the car. So this is going to actually actually going to be the whole the I guess you would call the snorkel. Yeah. And this will be what actually mounts up to the radiator support and connects to the, the air box that our stock air box picks up to. So as you can see, there's going to be two mounting holes for where it's going to mount up to the, the radiator support. And then right here where my thumb is, this is where the actual uh, lit kit mounts up to. And that's where the colors are going to change. There's all the wiring that's included. You're gonna get a RGBW controller. And then you're also gonna go ahead and get a couple of uh, zip ties. And it looks like also a, a screw and some bolts. So we'll go ahead and see what all this is used for. This is totally new to me. I've only installed this before on a GT Sport. So we'll go ahead and see what it takes to get this installed on the Elantra N. And this right here is the lit kit. This is gonna be the piece right here that lights up. That is so Very awesome. cool. Ooh. Very cool. And it goes in the dark. And it goes in the dark, exactly. So not only does it light up to any color that you want, but during the day, if you did want to, or like at night when there's enough light on it, it'll light up. So it's pretty cool. All right, guys. So front bumper is off. Um, I have a video if you guys have any questions on how to remove the front bumper. It's very simple. You have six push clips that are alongside top. You have two eight millimeter bolts that are on each side of the fender well. And then you have about four push clips that are right here, four push clips on the other center, and then on the other side. And then you have push clips down here and the bumper pops right off. So after we get the bumper off, you guys are gonna have two different uh, choices to go ahead and install your Velocitech. First choice is gonna be to go ahead and Dremel a hole through here. So that way this will slide in and then you can continue to use this uh, this kind of, uh, I guess it's like a mold that directs airflow towards the radiator while you're driving, but we're gonna get rid of it. There's always gonna be airflow going towards the radiator while you're driving. So we're not really that concerned about it. It's not gonna be that big of a deal for us, but for anybody that you feel like it is, by all means, you are more than welcome to go ahead and cut a cold, oh, like a, an area through here and you can just slide this through the top and it should be able to sit just like that. But we're gonna remove it um, and uh, you guys will go ahead and see. So to go ahead and remove it, there's going to be, looks like just a couple of 10 millimeter bolts right here. There's one right here, two, three, and four. We'll go ahead and remove those four and see if there's anything else that we have to remove after that. All right guys, so I thought that there was only going to be four bolts on here and there's actually one more hidden on each side behind the crash bar so it's really hard unless you have a really really short 10 millimeter socket for you to try to get back here you're gonna to have to use like an open box wrench um it's a lot of finessing literally you're turning like a fucking quarter of it through barely every little turn so it's just one of those things that you kind of have to be patient with um maybe if you wanted to take off the bash bar you could but i'm not trying to do all that so this is what I'm choosing to do. It took me a little time to get that other one off on that side, but once I have this off, we'll continue. All right, 
right, guys. So after you guys go ahead and remove the two bolts that are holding it up on top and the one on each side behind the crash bar, it's going to take a little bit of the, uh, like the messing this out, but it's just a plastic piece. It comes right out. Okay. This right here is no longer going to be here. Like I said, if you guys really wanted to, I might save this. It might dremel this out, but to be honest with you, this is always going to get air while you're driving. I mean, if you really think that that, that much of a little bit more is going to help by all means, put it back on. As you guys can see, it's going to be a direct fit. There's going to be a mounting hole here, a mounting hole here. It legit does not get much better than that. This is going to direct airflow from here directly through this box into this stock intake. So let's go ahead and install this bad boy. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and attach the, uh, I guess, the mouth to the snorkel. Um, one of the things that I just want to be conscious of doing is I want to make sure that the wiring is running to the driver's side of the car. I don't want to wire, wire it this way because then I'm going to have this going back this way. I want it to be super clean. I really don't want any wires to be showing. So there's four Allen set screws that are on here. I'm going to back them all the way out to where they're flush with the Velocitech. And then there's going to be, it's pretty much going to sit on inside of these holes. So I'm going to line it up, goes this way. This fits right inside of here. And as you can see, it's a perfect fitment. You can see it's all flush inside. And after I go ahead and do that, I'll go ahead and start tightening up these screws. All right, so what I'm gonna to decide to do to mount this is any of the uh, six bolts that you removed that held that plastic shroud in, I'm gonna just choose two of them and I'm gonna go ahead and insert it. In. I'll always go ahead and start off tightening something by hand to make sure it goes in there straight and that way I'm not going to strip it. And then I'll go ahead and do the remainder of the socket. Alright, so we have a few different options when we want to go ahead and try to route this line which is going to have uh, a male connector and then these are all going to be four female connectors so my objective is to get this route cleanly towards the fuse box so i'm trying to figure out how that's going to look i found one hole underneath here near the headlight if you want to take a look at that real quick i'm going to feed it through there i'm going to swing it on this side and then i'm going to pull i'm not going to pull it tight but i'm going to get it enough to where and then it's, show the end of it that way they can see yeah perfect can you see it yeah right okay, there right there so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to get one of these doesn't matter which one you plug it into and there's going to be a you can see there's like obviously a way that it goes on so i'm going to get it two arrows line up want to make sure that these two arrows actually meet and then once you do that you're good so I'm gonna go ahead and get this. I'm gonna just put this up here for right now, get everything routed, and then we'll go ahead and tidy everything up. But more than likely, I'm gonna put a zip tie through here and we're gonna go ahead and zip tie it somewhere, somewhere out of the way where, you know, there's nothing moving, which nothing's moving down here. So, and this is where we're gonna be tying it to.
our good friend Walter. What up, what up? Thank you so much for your help and letting us use your house for this install. If people Absolutely. don't know who Walter is, uh, mm -hmm. Walter, this is his Veloster N. Um, also, you can get his Instagram on the side, boosted in on Instagram. Mm -hmm. very, and what's, what, what is uh, your channel name? He has a YouTube channel yeah, as well. Yeah, so uh, Instagram is boosted underscore N, so it's B-O-O-S-T-D underscore N, and YouTube channel is Synergy Media. Cool. Yeah. He does a lot of KDM stuff and cool car stuff. A lot of the installs for anybody in Vegas. So if you're local to Vegas and you need any help. Mm -hmm. He's the guy. <laughs> He's the man. He's the man to I'm go to. Guy. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so um, install the app, baby. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to mount this box. right there out of the way and you can go ahead and see right here that on this harness right here to the box there's also going to be a negative this black so what I did is Diode Dynamics includes this Allen screw and there's are gonna be there's gonna be a couple. There's gonna be one right here and one right here. They're threaded holes and this Allen screw fits perfectly in there for a grounding point. So I tied both of my grounding points to the same one and screwed in. And one of them is gonna be fed in from this box and the other one actually is gonna be fed into this little controller. This little so this will always stay on. Um, on the back of this, there's going to be three connections. Two of them are silver and one of them is going to be gold. The gold one's going to be for a negative, And then the two uh, silver ones are going to be for any of the red positives. It does not matter which order you put any of those positives. But what does matter is where you're going to run and get your power from. So, thank you, Walt. Appreciate you. So, this main harness right here that has the fuse tap or the fuse in it, sorry, not fuse, tap the fuse in it. You're gonna go ahead and mount on, this is gonna be driver's side fuse. You're gonna go ahead and put it onto the closest one towards the front of the car. Ta remove this 10 millimeter bolt, and you're gonna go ahead and put it underneath and retighten it, and that's gonna go ahead and feed your power down to this box. And then you're gonna get one more red cable coming from here, and that this feeds all the way up through here and ties in to the back of right here. So, like I said, don't be uh, nervous when you see this on that it's gonna kill any battery. This is always going to stay on, always. And you're gonna shut this off. As you can see, it's getting light right now through the app. So we're gonna go ahead and tidy up all these wires. I'm gonna go ahead and clean it up as best as I can and move everything out of the way. And I'll show you how that looks. and. We'll go from there. All right, guys, so that's how it's gonna look after it's all tidied up. Went ahead and just grabbed the wires and zip tied everything the best that I could to keep everything out of the way. So just in case if we ever lost the fender liner for any reason, none of this stuff is ever gonna make any contact with the tire. So we're safe from that. This stuff up here, I just need to run one more zip tie up here to keep these up. But after we keep these up, these lead up to the, the switch and the switch is located right here. So it's out of the way have these prongs available just in case if we add anything else from diode dynamics they're easy to get to and feeding into the fuse box so we're going to put the front bumper back on and see how it looks all right guys so the bumper is back on and the lit kit is on right now we have it strobing through um different colors through the app um Actually, looks really, really, really good with the, do, the bumper on. Do you want to just show the yeah. app real quick? So, we'll show you guys the app. Um, Diode Dynamics app, you know, inside, you go ahead and click it. And this is what. Well, this is the main screen. It's going to take you to the devices. You would obviously add your device. You can name it whatever you want. So, I put Enlantra. And like we said, it's always on. So, you know yeah. what I mean? This is how you would shut it off. If you wanted to go back, go back to the. You can always shut it, I oh, believe, from here. There you go. This little right off there button. yep turned it off, off so now. then from here 
And then you would put Turn on, it on and, and that's then it's it. on. And then show them how to cycle then, the colors. So you can change like your main colors to anything you want here. You can set up five. Um, you can do a pattern that's already in preset. Preset. So yeah. like do the seven color, the very bottom one. Which one? The seven color or the seven color strobe. This one, the Kevin. Like yeah, so you have fast ones. You guys can. You could do it crazy. Have it play the music. It'll follow through music on here. Oh yeah, you could set it up to your music. Um, then here you can customize like your own color coordination that you want it to be. And then as it's strobing through, uh -huh, you how fast it, do you want it to stro to speed through? Mm -hmm. You could put fade, jump, strobe, and yeah. A lot of cool things to be able to customize. Um, it can actually go through your microphone and do like the way it pitches through here and turn the color on so you can see how it's doing that. Oh, how weird is so, that? Yeah, it's huh? really cool. Like, yeah, that is cool. I don't know. So it looks like the car's talking to you almost. And then I think that allows you to get to match a color. Oh, really? Yeah, so you can try to find a color and it'll match it as close as possible to it. Exactly. That's exactly how And then we got Walter with the... <laughs> <laughs> coming around with the end mask. <laughs> Look, so I just took a picture of his car. Purple. Top shirt. And it's matching it to his purple. There That's actually go. pretty fucking badass. It's awesome. And we're going to be showing with Walt's lit kit. Walt has a lit kit on his as well. A little bit different shape but same, mm -hmm. same outcome. It's gonna be lit up, be litty. Oh, so we just wanted to say thank you guys for, for watching and thank you for all the support as always. If you guys haven't subscribed to the channel, we'd appreciate if you guys have. We've noticed that quite a few of our numbers are from people that haven't subscribed. So if you guys are enjoying our videos, just make sure to subscribe. We have a lot more cool content coming out. We have a car show tomorrow that we'll be posting a lot of uh, content about. <laughs> And so we're excited to be out with the Agile family, to be out with our team Synergy and, uh, and to be, you yeah, thank you to Velocitech. You know, it's been an awesome, uh, a very awesome uh, opportunity to just represent for all these companies and to just be part of the end community. So thank you guys.